Okay, so next day was Friday and I originally tried to get out by 3 a.m. to get an Uber to meet Laura early to do characters without any wood. Didn't really happen. Um, I showed up at 3.15 and there was already buses there so I thought, why not? And luckily I got on a bus that left pretty early. So I took that and headed over right to the characters to meet Laura and her friends. And I got in line with them and we did Ariel. I'm trying to think. Do we do anybody else? I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> and then I ran with Laura and Stephanie and her daughter Maggie, which it wasn't her first race, but it was her first run Disney race, so that was very exciting to see. I think the first stop was before mile one, and it was Munsters Inc., which was Mike and Sully. So we did that. I'm sorry the hiccups oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then once you go in Epcot we saw the Vikings in Norway we saw Dopey in Germany Abu in Morocco and Abu was supposed to be leaving but he was very sweet and waited for us when we got up there so thank you Abu and then the gorgeous construction workers <laughs> when you enter backstage Epcot and they're doing the construction for the Skyliner coming in so it's perfect theming that they're out there I think they're equity actors and one has the Thor's hammer on him so they're Marvel construction markers <laughs> and then the other one has the Hulk symbol so that is a lot of fun and they just crack me up um, then we saw Rapunzel and Flynn, they were on a stage, so you could get a picture from below, but not like with with them in the background. You know? um, and then Sebastian was over near Finding Nemo. And then you're done with the 5K. So I did pictures and we ended up doing Belle at the end and we started in the Minnie Mouse line and she is quite a popular mouse so we changed over to Milan um, just to make sure we got another character photo because they were saying they were closing the lines and um, the buses were going to be leaving any minute so did that went back freshened up and did breakfast with Cindy um, in the normal food section and Polly got Mickey waffles Amazing. <laughs> And then I took an hour nap, which I was much needed. Um, and I got ready and took the Uber over to Boardwalk for the special meetup with Res Runs, which is Gerald and Laura from Joyful Miles. And I got there first, which I never happens. Um, I'm usually either on time or late, but never first. <laughs> So that was, it was a different day. Um, and the normal section that we were going to have the meetup, there's a ton of people sitting there that obviously were not there for the meetup because it's near the ice cream place and um, it, was, it was okay. Um, so the section we got was in full out sun and just, I wore the wrong outfit over there thinking I was going to go to Star Wars. Um, in Hollywood Studios afterwards to meet Kylo and I had a black and red dress on just I should have just showed up in shorts and a t-shirt instead and got some sun <laughs> lesson learned um but I had a great time at the meetup I met Stephanie and her lovely family I met Michelle with her husband who else um Jacqueline and her mom and then So many. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. If your name comes up, I'll put it down there. I'm so sorry. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering and I'm brain fog today. So, uh, yeah, yeah. But it was a lovely time um, meeting everybody and just talking. And so, thank you for coming if you did. Thank you so much. Uh, and then we went to ESPN Brill for dinner. And it was me, Laura, and Gerald and got the salmon there and that was delicious. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Um, took an Uber with Laura back to Contemporary so she could walk back to Bay Lake and I got on the monorail to Polly. Um, I'm just so tired <laughs> and then went to bed. Uh, so
Saturday. So this is the day of the 10K and I was dressed as Sleeping Beauty because I was gonna run with Aaron, Anna, and their friend Jennifer. Um, it's the three, the three fairies from Sleeping Beauty. So I got on the bus a little later by 3.20. Um, got there, I got character pictures with them um, with Jasmine. And Belle, I believe. And then I was running. I started the race by myself because they are in the crowd ahead of me, and I was in the crowd behind them. Um, recently, my 10k time. It used to be my better time, but before line. But then you know how I run Disney updates it every so often, so that doesn't qualify anymore. So now I have my slower 10k time with Lyme disease. But you know. It is what it is, so ran by myself. Um, and then I ran into Gerald, so that was a lot of fun. And I filmed him a little with his GoPro and gimbal. I was terrified holding the thing. I was like, please, Lord, please don't have me drop it, don't have anyone bump into me. I, 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 I'm not responsible, <laughs> but everything turned out fine. So he got to be on camera without him turning the camera, you know. Um, we caught up to Aaron and Anna, and we did Lilo and Stitch was our first character stop, and then he decided to keep going at that point, which was fun. Um, and I did Pocahontas with them, and we noticed this time. Especially Gerald and I noticed that we were in crowd B and it was just mobbed and normally for crowd B in the 10k that is not mobbed um, so it's something I don't know if it's just too many people or what just it's different um, then ran into Jenna Lynn and her friends is their Minnie Mouse in the hot pink tutus which was adorable and then we ran into Epcot, did Pinocchio, Jeannie, Marie in France, Pluto, and Goofy in around the boardwalk area. Um, also, construction workers again. Hello, boys. Um, after the race, we did a Minnie Mouse photo because she's in her purple gown and I was in my pink gown so I had to do that. After that I went back and had breakfast at Ohano's. Poor Cindy. <laughs> it was not the best turnout. We had a reservation. We got there and they made us wait an hour. Um, so just starting off the bat. Yes it's a Saturday and it's a busy day with the 10k and just families coming so we understand. But then they have all these tables that they it was closed off for some reason and we wished we could sit near the window and they're like no you can't and even though all these tables were open um, so they took us right near the kitchen and it was loud and busy and just not the best experience Cindy sat down and there's syrup all over her seat and the table and poor thing got it all over her um, so I felt horrible um, then to top that off, the waitress accidentally spilled milk all over Cindy's food, so we're giving the meal for free. Um, things happen, but I mean, this are, well, was really unfortunate. Um, so, it wasn't the best experience at Alhada's. <laughs> the food was okay, um, but I don't know if it's just okay because it's busy or it could have been better. Who knows? Um, we were both exhausted at that point from the second day of waking up very early. So, after that, I went back to the room, um, changed because I had a little Ohana outfit on, and then I wanted to go to Magic Kingdom, so I was like, you know what, I'm just putting a t-shirt and shorts on to go to Magic Kingdom. I went over there and had lunch at the Plaza Inn, and then, um, it didn't hit me. I've been in Disney restaurants by myself before, um, and then I had these two nice ladies that were doing the run Disney, 
races and um, I was eating lunch there and they were like, aren't you so lonely eating by yourself? And just, I was like, I'm gonna start crying. Thank you for rubbing it in. <laughs> they weren't trying to, but it was just like, ugh. Yes, I'm not here by myself, but I'm just doing this meal by myself, you know, eh, whatever. It was a good meal and the chef brought me an extra free milkshake, so you know, benefits. Um, they do an amazing dairy-free milkshake, so I did splurge on that and this was not the healthiest trip. <laughs> then I had fast passes because it was the last day of the redhead being at Pirates which was very sad. So I went ahead and went over and did that ride and got that on film. And last time up here, we went to the Redhead. So, very special. Um, had fast passes for Seven Dwarfs. Amazing and so much fun. And then I was just wiped at this point, so it was around five o'clock. I was like, that's the day. I'm going back to the hotel. Got my princess half outfit all ready for the next day. And then I was like, you know what? The last time I stayed at Polynesian was Marathon Week in 2017, freezing. Didn't get to use the pool or hot tub because they close it when it's so cold out. So I went over and used the hot tub. It's amazing. Of course, it's empty with two people when I got there. You get in, and this is a huge hot tub. It's probably the biggest I've seen on property. Um, because you know your normal hot tubs are like little circles that hold maybe 10 people, I don't know. And this one was like a oval that just everybody come on in. Um, so there's two other people and me, and then two more came, and then a whole bunch of older guys came, and I was just like, great. <laughs> so I did that for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe, and then went and sat on one of the chairs and um, to dry off and then went back and went to bed. Um.